Welcome to 5-Minute Pitch. I'm your host, Liz Saunders. 5-Minute Pitch is the competition that gives entrepreneurs from around the globe the opportunity to virtually pitch their business or product idea for the chance to win a grand prize of $50,000. This season, more than 30 entrepreneurs will pitch their ideas via Zoom conference call to our panel of five experts for the chance to advance to the finals and pitch to the judges live in Miami, Florida. Our panel of expert judges includes Greg Mercer, eight-figure Amazon seller and the founder and CEO of Jungle Scout. Michael Jackness, a serial entrepreneur who has spent the past few years building a high seven-figure e-commerce conglomerate while blogging and podcasting about all of it along the way at Ecom Crew. Steve Chu, the son of two tiger parents, Steve Chu started two seven-figure businesses while working full-time as an engineering director. He now runs Bumblebee Linens and MyWifeQuitHerJob.com. Scott Voker, seven-figure business owner and host of the Amazing Seller podcast. Today we are joined by guest judge Andrew Udarian. Andrew has started and sold multiple e-commerce businesses and is the founder of e-commerce Fuel a private community for seven-figure-plus e-commerce sellers. This week on 5-Minute Pitch. Click and Carry is a simple handle device that allows shoppers to manage and carry multiple bags at once comfortably, either in your hands or better, over your shoulder for a hands-free carry. So this is something that you came up with on your own? Yeah, I yeah. Have, it came in a dream. Uh, so I used to have this awesome boyfriend, and uh, when we broke up, <laughs> I had to carry my own groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic like product, obviously 300,000 people purchased it already. So. Today's contestant, Kim Meckwood, is a self-taught entrepreneur who has turned a product that came to her in a dream into a successful business for herself called Click and Carry. After suffering some initial setbacks requiring her to scale back, Kim has worked her way back to the top and is once again in position for success and is hoping the grand prize money will help her regrow the business. This is 5 Minute Pitch. Welcome to the five minute pitch. Your pitch begins now. My product is Click and Carry. My name is Kim, and this is what Click and Carry looks like. Click and Carry is a simple handle device that allows shoppers to manage and carry multiple bags at once comfortably, either in your hands or better, over your shoulder for a hands free carry. We've all been there. We just finished shopping, and now we're faced with the burden of getting all those purchases home from the car to the car, and again from the car to your house. And if you're anything like me, you insist on doing this in one quick trip and often end up with the bruise in your hands and arms from carrying so much weight. So I knew there had to be a better way and I came up with click and carry and this is how it works. So you simply twist the click and carry open, you load your handle bags on each side. It's any bag with a handle, plastic, paper, canvas, even your purse. You click it back into place and you either carry your purchases or better, if you evenly distribute the weight, you can wear your groceries and your hands free. So it's ideal for moms because the mom can wear it over her shoulder and still have a free hand for the baby. Or like I said, I live in a condo. So for me, just to have a free hand to unlock my door or to press the elevator button is a, a, a win. It's great for sports equipment. It's amazing for a ski boot tote. You can actually click the click and carry to anything and make life easier. This is one of my favorite uses. It's for paint cans and construction pails. In fact, I'm currently talking to Home Depot about a test. It's great for dry cleaning. You could also walk multiple dogs at once. And when they crisscross, you just turn the click and carry over. And it's great for bridal showers. You could carry in all the party favors. So um, I've had some commercial success. I've been on QVC. In fact, that was my B-roll for QVC. And I'm currently in Walmart in Puerto Rico. But the good news is I just joined Amazon Prime this weekend. I have two utility patents on Click and Carry, so it's protected. And um, I have many more years left to go on the patents. It sounds like Kim is off to a great start with an incredibly useful product and some defensible patents. Let's see what else she has in the works. So this is a click and carry connected to the strapping system prototype I have. And this is um, a stand-up paddle board. And you can see he's wearing it on his left shoulder. And he was able to take a break with his arm. It's great for uh, stand-up paddle boards and surfboards, but it's also great for things like ladders for the construction industry. So I'm also talking to Home Depot about getting a, a test in their stores. 
So as you can see, there are many channels of distribution. This is a winner because it's not just for groceries, but it's also for the big box retailers, for the construction industry, Home Depot and Lowe's. It's great for the pet industry. It's uh, great for the sports equipment because of ski boots and um, carrying sports equipment. What a great product. Click and Carry appears to be an extremely versatile product with a near limitless set of applications and sales channels. So what would Kim do with the prize money if she won? I would use the funds for my point of purchase display because my biggest obstacle is that people don't know what it is. They think it's a chip flip or a barrette. And um, I want to have this new point of purchase display that has a little monitor. I priced it at, it's about seven bucks and it can loop videos. And I think that would be ideal because then people would get what it's for. Also, I want to put money into the strapping system. So and finally Kim Kimberly, your, your five minutes is up, but uh, we have to cut you off there because we have a hard stop. But I just want to okay. start by saying like, this is brilliant. I think this is uh, one of the coolest Thank things we've you. seen today. Well, hey there, what's up? It's Scott Boker from the Amazing Seller Podcast. Are you looking to hire top Amazon e-commerce and marketing specialists to help you grow and scale your business? Have you tried before, but you just can't find the right people? Well, now you're in luck. There's a company and they're called FreeUp. And what they do is they vet out the top performers, the 1%, and they give us access to all of these people. And you can sign up for free, no monthly fees, no minimum. So all you have to do now is head over to free up and start today. Kim gave a great pitch of her product to the judges. Let's see if it clicked with them enough to carry her on to the next round. So this is something that you came up with on your own? Yeah, I yeah. Have, um, it came in a dream. Um, so I used to have this awesome boyfriend and uh, when we broke up, <laughs> I had to carry my own groceries. <laughs> <laughs> So I knew there had to be a better way because I lived on the second floor at that time. And um, in my dream, this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but it's a true story. Remember those those space cars in the Jetsons? They would zip in and zip down, yeah. kind of like a helicopter. So in my dream, it was basically a train car. So the car would zip in, zip down, and click and carry was like this, but it was flat. It wasn't curved. And then when the car would zip down, this would automatically close and the train would zip off. But I changed this, the design slightly because it needs to sit on the one shoulder so it would just balance there. How Can many I, units have you sold to date? Probably about um, 300,000 units. Were most uh, of them from QVC? Yeah, about, uh, mostly QVC. But um, right now I'm talking to Honest and to Home Depot about testing both. For sales right now, QVC, are you still selling on QVC? Or is that kind of like a limited time thing? And if it was a limited time thing, can you give us a sense of, you know, like this last month, how many products have you sold? Because you're not on Amazon quite yet, or you just went on there. And where are those, are those coming through your own website? Or is it all through Amazon? It was through Amazon, but not fulfillment by Amazon. And it's through my own website. Um, it was a limited time. I could go back to QVC at any point. Kim is not currently selling on QVC due to a tough learning experience that resulted in her cashing in her 401k to cover a large order. It had a compounding negative impact on her financially. At that time, Kim was inexperienced in her business and made some costly errors. But now she has learned from those experiences and is working her way back to the top, growing her business in a smart and balanced way. Let's see how she's doing now. I've learned a lot. I've made some mistakes too, obviously, like using my 401k was not smart, but um, I'm back in the game now. And how many are you selling per month right now? I sell about a thousand per month right now, but I'm not doing a whole lot of advertising. Do you see any repeat business from these customers? Because I'm looking at it as I like do. a very, very low price point. And on Amazon, I mean, it's going to be very small as far as what you're taking home. What else are you selling them? Are you selling bundles? Are you grouping? Are you just selling a single unit? Are you selling a three pack, a six pack? What ideally I'm going to do is to sell two click and carries with four reusable bags because you can make a ton of margin on the bags as well. And um, the newest thing I'm doing is the strapping system because I think every surfer or stand-up paddleboard person is going to really want a uh, click and carry in the strapping system or even a ladder for construction people. Yeah. What are your plans for the $50,000 uh, should you win? Um, main thing is um, the point of purchase display. One of Kim's biggest challenges is getting customers to identify what click and carry is in the retail stores. To solve this, Kim would like to invest in point of purchase displays that include an on-screen video to provide a visual demonstration on how click and carry works to increase the likelihood of the purchase.
How much of the the thousand dollars per month that you're, or the thousand units per month that you're selling? How much of those are through wholesale business to business, like Walmart, Puerto Rico, like you said, versus you know direct to consumer on Amazon? The majority is wholesale, so the majority is like six hundred are wholesale, and then the other four hundred are direct direct to consumer. But that's without with minimal advertising. So now that I have someone, it's only been six weeks, five or six weeks, but salary made a difference. And now that I'm on Amazon Prime, it's going to make a difference. Adding Amazon Prime to her already diverse set of sales channels should help boost Kim's overall sales numbers. Additionally, she is working on reducing manufacturing costs and increasing order quantities. This will in turn reduce the overall costs in both shipping and import taxes, further increasing her profit margins. Do you have any prior experience with creating products or patents, or how are you pretty savvy with this no. stuff? <laughs> no, it was all by accident. Um... I have friends that introduced me to the patent attorney. I got in touch with the manufacturer because across the hall, the guy uh, worked at Tyco, I think it's called. Um, He introduced me to his factory. And then through pitching and meeting people around town, I met the owner of the Perfect Push-Up. He produced 10 million of those and he introduced me to his factory. And this person I work with, she's just magical. I can get anything sourced for a really good price. Great. Kim, with that, we got to wrap it up. We have a hard stop now. Thank you very much. We've really enjoyed it. Great Great presentation. Great presentation. Congratulations. After the pitch, I caught up with Kim to see how she feels about her presentation. The guys were wonderful. They asked great questions and they seemed really positive about my product. So I hope that they love the Quinn Perry question section. I think it was a lot of fun. The only bad news is I probably talk too much. That's just kind of what I do. So I feel bad that I didn't let them talk more because I'm sure I could have learned a whole lot. I'm thrilled for the opportunity. The judges seem to really like Kim's product and current trajectory, but will her past mistakes sway them from advancing her to the next round? Let's find out. Fantastic like product. Obviously 300,000 people purchased it already. So very, very successful as far as getting on QVC and, you know, all these different channels and then had some hiccups and, you know, and she's got new product, uh, you know, ready to be developed for a whole nother market. And then going into Home Depot for the contractors and stuff like that. I think that's brilliant. Um, So there's a lot of pros there. The one thing um, that I'm a little concerned with is that you know, she's been at it for this long. And then now we're kind of like pulling out of QVC. We're kind of putting the brakes on. It's only a $10 product. We haven't bundled it yet. Inventory issue or a cash flow issue maybe. But I would think at that much sales, why wouldn't we have that cash flow? Yeah. Right. Why wouldn't we have, I I don't know. There's some things there that I'm not sure of. I'm not saying no, (laughs) but I'm just saying these are the things that, that are concerning to me. So I'm a fan. She's done really well. It was one of the few things that we've seen come through five minute pitch so far that it was just like, oh my God, that's just like a genius. Yes. Like, why hasn't that been done before? Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. And, but the problem is you have to see it to understand it. Yeah. So it can't just be education. The education part, even though I think you can quickly you could. educate somebody, you could. it still isn't the thing that's like in the middle of the aisle. It has to be on the end cap, or she was talking about adding some video. And that's not impossible to overcome, but it, it just adds a particular challenge. So I can see where she's running the trouble because I think a lot of us in our first inventory business would have got to the same place. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think more good than bad. Kim is a hustler. Yeah. And I love hustlers. Yeah. Um, She had no idea how to design things or get things produced in China or anything else and just figured it all out based off of an idea she came up with in a Jetsons dream. (laughs) In a Jetsons dream. (laughs) That is sweet. That is a great story (laughs) too. That is awesome. Um, so just for that reason alone, I think she's amazing. Um, definitely some cash flow management concerns. Yep. Maybe even some just kind of like general business acumen type concerns for me. And I have to give her credit. She sold 300,000 of these things. I have a lot of SKUs. None of them have ever sold 300,000 <laughs> yeah. units. That's a hell of That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Kim was impressive to talk to. Yeah. 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 She's cool. So I thought it was a great product. In fact, I'm probably the only one here that actually owns one. <laughs> and my wife was actually gracious enough to let me use it whenever we go to the grocery store to the point where she got me another one. So I actually have two of these. Sweet. Repeat buyer. Repeat buyer. Exactly. Anyways, so my concerns are, I think it probably has to do with education, right? You walk by one yeah. of these, you don't know what to do with it. And so there's this disconnect there that she's just going to have to resolve. I'm not That's sure why I think it did well split. in QVC yeah. though, because like you can exactly. demonstrate but in order for like a retail outlet, for it to be yeah. successful in retail. Yeah. And Home Depot, you'd have to have a video playing right. showing it yep. That's what she's right. being used. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, love Kim. She was, she was great. I uh, love the product. I could absolutely see myself using it. Um, so on, on the product front, the utility side, uh, yeah, home run. From the business perspective, a couple of things that, uh, that just gave me a little bit of a pause. One, 300,000, yeah, ton of products. You look at today not using QVC, though, at 1,000 per month, and I started running the numbers. And, uh, and even then, it still looks good. But then we kind of got into the mix of wholesale and retail, and you know, 60% of our sales are wholesale. Yeah. And the margins are way, 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 way smaller on yeah. the wholesale side, you know, yeah. which is problematic. So yeah. I, I, I really like the product, but had a couple, mm. couple concerns. Okay, we ready to vote? Let's do, do it. it. All right, my up, go for it. All right, I am going to say yes, because I think that with a little bit of um, tweaking, and taking some of that money to help with the cash flow issues. Um, I think she could do it, and uh, I'm gonna say yes. Uh, even though I have some concerns, which I mentioned earlier, I just can't see any situation where I say no, so it's definitely a yes. Same, I'm gonna give Kim a yes. I like that she has the patents. I just love the hustle about it. I like the product. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes as well. Having used the product, it works. <laughs> Unfortunately, now I just have to carry all the bags. <laughs> but outside of that, I'm a big fan. Yeah, a few concerns, a few things to tweak, but I mean, you've sold 300,000, and yeah. uh, it's and yes. Yeah. Well, well congratulations. congratulations. Congratulations, Zach. Very cool. You're Thank through. you. Congratulations, Kim. You're moving on to the deliberation round. Next time on 5 Minute Pitch. My name is Maybe Robbins. I'm 12 years old, and um, I'm going to show you my brand, Maybe Clothing. My dresses are full of meaning, and um, all of them have a special story behind them. I wish that I had your poise when I was 12. I can yes. Tell you that. You Sounds mentioned like giving your dad a dose of humble pie at the end of your presentation. <laughs> Would you mind elaborating on that? <laughs> he needs it. <laughs>